Hey guys, this is Steve at Option Income. Hey, welcome back to the channel where we talk about stocks and earning an option income. Hey, I'm not a financial planner. This isn't financial advice. These are just transactions I'm doing in my account and you can just watch and learn what I'm doing. Hey, um, guys, in today's video, I'm just going to do a quick uh, TQQQ update. This is a triple leveraged ETF of NASDAQ. And I'll just show you real quick down here. It's basically just saying TQQQ provides 3x leverage exposure to a modified market cap weighted index tracking 100 of the largest non-financial firms listed on NASDAQ. So anyway, uh, what I've been doing, um, I have um, really two option strategies. I bought shares, you know, so I'm basically holding shares of TQQ and I'm selling calls against those shares. So as this thing swings up and down, I'm using the volatility and you know the range that this thing's been moving in to um, make money is basically what I'm doing. And um, you could also look at it and say, well, actually, Steve, on paper you're losing money, but you know, and that that's true also because. If you're buying the shares and the share price drops below what you bought them at, you're on paper you're losing money. But what I've been doing, I've been um, when this thing goes up to a certain price, I sell calls, and I'm also got another position where I'm selling puts. So you know I'm selling options against TQQQ and basically making money kind of both ways. So I just want to give you a quick update on this and show you what I did this morning. So if you look right now, the share price is at about $56.82. This morning, what happened was this thing was up, you know, at this 56 range, dropped. i um, trying to think. I think it was about $12.55 that I actually bought my calls back. I sold covered calls yesterday and I'll show you in a minute the history and then I bought them back this morning or, or at about 12 55 p.m. I bought them back so I'll show you that quick little trade and you know again just making money in and out this was a one day um, movement um, basically where the shares uh, went up yesterday I sold covered calls at a 60 strike and this morning it dropped back down to like, you know, this $55.19. And um, when the price dropped on the covered calls that I'm selling, that means that the premium on those drops. So I was able to buy them back cheaper than the credit that I received. So I made a little money there. And then I'll show you the options that I'm selling right now, the puts. Um, but if you go down here, I'll show you the history. So basically, you can see here at 1256, I did a limit buy and I bought these back um, at $222. Yesterday, and if I want to see a timestamp on that, February 15th at 9.53 a.m., $266 is what I, um, you know, received. You know, I'm receiving a credit because I'm selling covered calls against my shares. So right now I have 110 shares. So all you need to do this is 100 shares of the stock. So against those 100 shares, I sold covered calls. And as you can see, I basically uh, collected a credit and then turned right around and pretty much, um, you know, bought them back. So 266 uh, yesterday, bought them back for 222 and collected, it was not a lot, 44 bucks. But if you keep doing this often enough, you can continue to make an income off it. So the next trade, now that's how I'm working the covered call side of it. And um, I did that before I showed you in the video prior um, where I collected, I think it was $80 on a quick covered call trade. And I'm just going to keep doing that and keep cycling um, in and out on that. And then uh, let me show you the option that I'm selling uh, the puts on.
Okay, so this one basically has an expiration date of March 4th, so about two more weeks on this one. Now, of course, on paper, I'm down here, 122 bucks, but I received an average credit per share of $2.53, and you can see now it's at about $3.75, so you could actually receive more on a $57 strike price for uh, March 4th expiration. So it's gone up quite a bit. So that's why this on paper is showing down. Right now my break even on this is um, TQQQ break even price would be $54.47. So that's my break even. So even if I do get assigned the shares based on this average credit per share that I received up front, um, that's what, you know, basically got me to this. So I'll pick up these shares at $54. So I'm comfortable owning them at 54. And, um, like I said, right now, even this thing now TQQQ is ramped up to about $57 and 29 cents. So it looks like today the NASDAQ dropped this morning and now it's picking back up and which means TQQQ is going up in price. And this thing just continues to swing back and forth. Every time there's some kind of a news announcement about Ukraine, Russia, or, you know, they're talking about seven rate hikes and all this kind of news, I'm wanting to take advantage of it. And I'm just kind of watching these ranges, kind of the low and the high, how these things are swinging on this triple leveraged. And I'm just using the options to kind of make money both ways. So anyway, and if this goes up enough, um, I'll be able to actually buy this one back cheaper. Right now I can't do that, but you know, that's all based on this price. If NASDAQ swings up for a couple days, I would probably just buy this back and just, you know, continue cycling these in and out and in and out. So anyway, that's my strategy right now. Um, you know, and, and I, again, got out of my covered calls. I'm, what I'm really hoping to do is just not have um, covered calls on the TQQQ and just have the price really move up one day, you know, and or over a couple days and then capture that with the share price um, appreciation and also make a profit that way. So there's a number of ways, um, you know, now if the market crashes, yeah, that won't be a, a, a real good scenario. But right now, NASDAQ has pulled back over... 10%, um, you know, it could come back a little bit more, but I'm kind of looking at that 51 uh, price level as support right now. Let me actually show you uh, the chart. So if I just kind of look at a one-year chart, this is what it looks like. And you can see right here, the low that this hit was about 51.56. This low it's a higher low, 53.28 is what this one is at. And we'll see kind of where this goes on the chart. But right now, this 51.56, I'm kind of looking at a support level. So if I were to sell, if this thing would swing down, say back down from, you know, 57 down to 53, I would also consider selling um, puts at the 51. And I'm also doing a little bit of this in my retirement account. So that's kind of how I'm playing it, guys. I just wanted to do a quick update here, let you know how I'm playing this uh, 3X leveraged um, NASDAQ um, triple Q ETF and kind of how it's going. So if you like this video, you like this kind of content, uh, smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you watch all of our videos.